So that was was a pretty crazy weekend. That was the Elimination Chamber from the WWE and Impact Wrestling's No Surrender pay-per-view event. We are back once again, man, with your Monday Night Raw review, February 21st, 2022. This is the Kid DC Wrestling. And remember to subscribe to the channel, like for more content, and tell me in the comment section what did you guys think of this episode of Raw. Because, you know, overall, I thought tonight's Raw was... I thought tonight's Raw was actually pretty good, coming off the heels of the Chamber. And plus, fun fact, this was the 1,500 episode of Monday Night Raw. They didn't really make it a big deal tonight, but that was a fun fact in and of itself. So anyways, we kick things off with the new WWE Champion Brock Lesnar coming out. Brock Lesnar's like, well... I'm the WWE champion, people, and now we're here, South Carolina, we're here, we up in the building, and you know South Carolina, they're all popping for Brock Lesnar stuff, Brock's like, y'all, thank you, thank you, I really appreciate it, but then Paul Heyman comes out, Paul Heyman's like, well, Brock, you sit up here, you talk about how you're going to fight Roman Reigns, where you might not even make it to WrestleMania, because you, my friend, have to defend your WWE title Saturday, March 5th, MSG in New York City, and your opponent is is Bobby Lashley. Now, I want to say this first. It's really made no sense. I mean, Bobby Lashley's currently injured right now. For those who don't know, he had a shoulder injury, which is why he got taken out of the match that early. And plus, he's going to be out. For, well, they say he's going to be out for a good four months. So he could potentially miss Mania. So why are they promoting Bobby for MSG when by that point, the dude's probably going to be, you know, just getting out of surgery or something? But anyways, man, Lesnar cuts him off. He's like, well, Heyman, I'm doing just fine without you. I got the champion. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be on Friday Night SmackDown. Um, so your little tribal chief, you're going to be standing in the ring with him. Well, guess what? I'm going to introduce him to me. I know that didn't make any sense. But basically, Brock said, I'm going to introduce myself as the WWE champ. So, yeah. Um, all right, man. So we had the Raw Tag Team Champions uh Alpha Academy take on the Street Profits. What was an opener, man? Tag team match player. Alpha Academy gets the win here. I thought this was a pretty good match, man. I'm telling you, man, Alpha Academy's been really killing it so far. It's Raw Tag Team Champs. And even with the Street Profits, man, even in a losing effort, they showed out tonight. Like, uh, it showed tonight Angelo Dawkins as well as his good pal Montez Ford got some hops as well. Now, we had another tag team match, and this is actually pretty cool. Um, we saw... The Dirty Dogs, and obviously, for those who don't know, NXT, which I will be doing a review tomorrow, uh, Tommaso Ciampa will be facing Dolph Ziggler, and it was just made recently that it will be a number one contenders match to decide on who will face, you know, the NXT champion, Braun Breaker, so who's going to get him next. But Tommaso Ciampa's like, I got some backup tonight, and it's Finn Balor. Finn Balor makes his return. We haven't seen Finn Balor since the January 17th episode of Raw when he lost Austin Theory. So Balor's like, you know what, man? I know you and I, champ, we got a lot of history. And I know that I'm here on Raw now, but I will never forget where I came from in NXT. So, yeah, they. Re- I-, I like this. I thought this was some great promotion. Obviously, it's good to see champ on the main roster. I mean, I wouldn't really say this is an official move to the main roster. It might as well. Who knows? But it was really cool to see him tonight. And, of course, it was cool to see Finn Balor tonight as well. And, like I said, um, this was a pretty good tag team match between uh, the Dirty Dogs and Champ and Balor, who, of course, Champ and Balor get the win there. Now, we get the most must-see talk show in WWE, Miz TV. And the caveat of this episode of Miz TV was that who's going to be his partner? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, Miz was coming out and saying that, you know, my partner who's going to help me fight the Mysterios at Mania, this man is a global celebrity. He comes from a fighting family. He's dashing. So God knows who he's talking about. But uh, before we can get to the announcement, the Mysterios come out and they're like, boy, we're coming after you at Mania and stuff like that. And you know, Dominic said, why don't, why don't I just knock you out right now? Especially you disrespect my pops like that. And Miz is like, you know what, fans? I still haven't announced my partner, so come on out here, Logan effing Paul. (laughs) Yeah, so it's Logan Paul, man, just like they did in the reports, man. Logan Paul is back. I mean, you know, I just, uh, I mean, that's all I could say, man. You know, y'all know how I am with the Paul brothers. Y'all know I I just can't stand the Paul brothers. Well, then again, Logan, he has, like I said, he's matured over the past few years. It's really Jake I can't stand. Now, if this was Jake Paul, I really would have been effing pissed. 
So I wasn't that that pissed like the whole internet was when Logan showed up. But um, hey, at least he's getting that heat. So they attacked Miz and Mysterio, and well, Miz and Dominic. So yeah, that match is gonna take place at Mania. All right. So next we got Rhea Ripley versus Nikki Ash. I thought this is a solid match, to say the least. Uh, Rhea Ripley does get the win there. So. Yeah, this seems like this is the end of the Rhea Ripley and Nikki A.S.H. storyline. Now, my thing is, now that Rhea Ripley's clearly done with Nikki A.S.H., what do you do with Rhea Ripley? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what's going on? Like, what's, what are you going to do with Rhea Ripley? So, I'm going to be re really curious to see. Maybe they could run her in Alexa for Mania. Who knows? We're just going to have to see what WWE does. All right, next we got Damian Priest versus Shelton Benjamin. This was a non-title match, I believe it was. Yeah, non-title match. Well, actually, I don't, I don't know. Well, either way, it was a non-title match, title match. You know, Damian Priest beats um, Benjamin, which wasn't shocking at all. I mean, it was a meh match, but you kind of knew Damian Priest was going to win, obviously. But after the match, man, Damian Priest is like, there's a list of world champs. I'm defeated. But, like, now it's WrestleMania season. I want my next opponent to match the caliber. I want ne next week, I'm volunteering my title in a match, but my opponent needs to be someone of world title caliber. And it seems like WWE listened to my WrestleMania, well, they not only listened, but watched my WrestleMania 38 match card predictions because I predicted that at Mania it was going to be Finn Balor and Damian Priest for the U.S. title. Now, obviously, Balor's like, you, you want a match? Well, be careful uh, what you wish for, and we're going to get Balor and, um, you know, Balor and Damian Priest next week. Now, granted, I said that this is going to take place at Mania, but, hey, it seems like WrestleMania is coming a little bit early um, unless something happens, like a DQ happens, and then they have another match at Mania. But, yeah, Balor and Damian Priest should be a good one, man. All right, we get Reggie coming out, man. Reggie, you know, he brings out, he talks about Dan and Brooke. He's like, hey, like, what happened last week? Like, I lost sight of what was important. And so Reggie lays down, and Dana ends up kissing him to win the 24th set. So, you know, it's... <laughs> come on, Reggie. Like, come on, man. Like, you got to stop. You can't be no simp, bro. Anyways, man, we got uh, we got Bel Air coming out, man. Bianca Bel Air. She talks about she won the chamber. She talks about the now she's about to fight Becky Lynch. She's running the back at Mania. Uh, Becky Lynch comes out. She congrat congratulates Bel Air, but she's like, "Hey, yo, like I walked out of WrestleMania 35 as Becky two belts. Like ain't nobody beat me for this title, and sure as hell ain't you, baby doll. Like you ain't beat me for this title." Um, and, and Bel Air, like, you, like she she accuses Bel Air of playing the victim, like. You know, her 22nd win over her at SummerSlam. You know, Bel Air's like, I don't got time for this crap, bro. Like, I'm going to beat you at WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? And then Dewdrop comes out. Uh, Bianca Belair and Dewdrop have what was a really good matchup, I thought, between the two women. I'm telling you, man, I know Bianca did it before, but I'm telling you, man, Bianca just shows that effing, um, that her strength, dude. Like, absolutely, man. And I want to talk about Dewdrop for a minute. Uh, shout out to Dewdrop because Dewdrop actually, like, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but, like, Liv was tangled up at the chamber. She was, like, tangled up in the in the ring post. And Dewdrop came over there and kind of helped Liv off. So shout out to Dewdrop for doing that. But um, we see the rated R superstar Edge. I know that was a terrible ring announce um, <laughs> introduction of Edge. Uh, I know. But Edge comes out, man. It's good to see Edge, man. He talks about his WrestleMania moments. He talks about how he speared Mick Foley to the table, stole the show at WrestleMania 21, winning money in the bank. Uh, May all um, well, what he thought had his last match at Mania against Del Rio. Um, he sure as hell didn't talk about what happened at 25 and 26. Well, probably because he lost. <laughs> he talked about 24. And he actually mentioned Devon too. Shout out to Devon because I didn't know Devon had back surgery. So I hope he gets better. And of course, the Undertaker. But yeah, but um, he 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 he's like, I want to face someone phenomenal at Mania. So we all know what is going to happen. We all know what this is going to lead to. This is going to lead to AJ Styles versus Edge at Mania. Rifled so perfect WrestleMania match. It can't get any better than this. All right, we got the main event, man. We had RK Bro taking on Seth Rollins. Kevin Owens, the caveat with this was that if, um, of course, you know, Rollins and uh, Rollins and KO to get the win, they'll be added to the little tag team championship match with RK Bro and Alpha Academy. Pretty good match, you know, <laughs> that we, they've been fighting like this. This is the same tag team match that's been happening like the past two, three weeks on Raw. But like I said, man, overall tonight, man, I thought tonight's Raw, I thought overall it was a pretty good episode. 
um, coming off the heels of the chamber. And um, yeah, man, I hope you guys really enjoyed this in-depth review of this Raw review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, tomorrow, like I said, I'll be back to NXT. We already know Wednesday. Wednesday is Dynamite, and then Friday is SmackDown. And um, yeah, man, so remember to continue to sub, man. So yeah, anyways, it's been the kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.